Hi, I'm Laura Humphreys and this is Bodhi. And today we'll be moving through a hamstring practice. Uh, the hamstrings in particular are connected to the root chakra, Mula Dahara. Um, and what this particular energetic center does is create a support system, a foundation, just like the roots of a tree. <laughs> just like the roots of the tree, um, they create this anchoring. And the more that we plant our roots and the more we build our foundations in our practice, um, the easier it is to stay grounded and stay solid in any particular storm that may come our way. Um, and even when we don't feel particularly supported, that we always have the earth there to ground down into. And when we look at even the Sanskrit names of these poses, they all end in asana, and asana means to find one's seat, or ultimately to find a connection to earth. And so that today's practice will be built around foundation postures, aimed at releasing the hamstrings or any tightness through the legs, but also to help you create a deep sense of stability and support by continuously reconnecting back into the posture and into the earth whether that be through your legs, your hands, your feet, your head, whatever's on the floor, we press down more and we really create stability. And in turn, we can feel into the reciprocation of Mother Earth's energy, this sense of support, um, solidarity, um, reliability that continuously keeps giving back to us. So, if you'd like to join me today, we'll start the practice. In your bed. Start by closing down the eyes. Lengthening up through your spine. Applying some pressure through the blade edges of the feet, through the sit bones. And begin to make a full inhalation through the nose. And exhale, start to surrender the breath completely. Breathing in through the nose, into the front body. And exhale, release the breath. And breathe into the side body. And exhale, feel the ribs pull into center. Inhale up through the back. And exhale. Now navigate the breath to the heart. And exhale. Let's follow this rhythm, breathing in to the front, sides, back, and heart. Exhale, back, sides, front. Inhale to the front, sides, back, heart, exhale, heart, back, sides, and front. All directions at once now. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathing in, collect Molabanda, two, three, four. Maintain Molabanda and exhale, initiate Uriyana Banda, two, three. Four. Inhale, Mulabandha. 
Continue to draw up through the pelvic floor as you exhale and start to activate the abdominal lock. And exhale. As you bring your hands to your heart space, setting an intention for your practice. And from here, in dedicating your practice today to any way you feel unsupported in your life. And allow this practice to blossom a new sense of foundation, support, and reliability in all aspects of life, whether that be within your relationships, whether that be financially, emotionally, or spiritually. And deeply connecting back in to the energy of Mother Earth. Begin to soften the gaze towards the Earth and from here, you can gently find your way to the front of your mat. Take the feet hip distance apart and just hang over the legs, softening through the knees, relaxing the body over the legs. Let the weight of the spine cascade forward. Take a really generous bend in your knees. You can catch the elbow creases if you feel comfortable to do so. And then begin to feel into each breath Feel into the expansion, the three-dimensional breath. And exhale. Let the heart melt forward that little bit more. Not so much working on trying to straighten the legs, but actually with that generous knee bend, you can start to release the lower back. Just a few more breaths here. Then gently begin to release the hands. Take a half lift as you inhale. Peace fingers will meet around your toes. Pistol grip, take a half lift for Padding Gustasana. And then exhale, bend the elbows wide. Keep the collarbone broad and draw yourself in. Subtle knee bend. Inhale, create more space, length and halfway. Reach the heart through the arms. And exhale, draw yourself in for two. Inhale, length and halfway. And exhale, draw yourself in for three. Two more like this, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, keep pressing the heels firm. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, lead with the heart. And exhale, bring the hands and toes together. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, release the right hand down, lean to right side. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Left hand down, exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, chin to chest, Uttanasana. Half lift, inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left leg back, knee to floor. Inhale, Anjani Asana, rise up. Exhale, hands to earth. Tuck the left toe under, inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step back between your hands. Inhale, left leg high, standing splits. Exhale, toes meet, fold in. Inhale, stand tall, rise up. Look to the thumbs, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold straight back down, Uttanasana. Half lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right leg steps back, low lunge. Tuck the tailbone, inhale, Anjani Asana. Lift from Mulabandha. 
Exhale, hands to earth, frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe, inhale, float left leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step back through. Inhale, float right leg high, standing splits towards the front of your mat. Exhale, toes meet, fold in, Uttanasana. Stand tall, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold straight back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left leg back, knee to floor. Arms up, inhale, Anjali Asana. Exhale, hands to earth. Tuck the back toe, inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Keep grounding your left heel down. Exhale, step back through, curl the knee to the chest, place the foot. Inhale, left leg high, standing splits. Exhale, toes meet, fold in. Lead with the heart, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. So bridge to fingers or hands to shins. Exhale, right leg steps back, knee to floor. Inhale, Mulavanda, lift the arms up. Exhale, frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step back through, place the foot. Right leg high, inhale. Keep pressing up through the right leg, ground through the left heel. Exhale, slowly fold in, right foot down, Uttanasana. Stand tall, inhale, lift up. Look to your thumb. Exhale, fold on down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left leg back, knee to floor. Inhale, lift the arms up, new sequence. Exhale, release the hands and fold over your right leg. If you need to, you can use your blocks here to continue to lengthen through that leg. Bend into the knee, lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, blocks, firm over that right leg, keep squeezing the right heel back and left knee forward. Inhale, lifting, Anjani Asana. And exhale, folding. Hold here, inhale, lift your chest, squeeze your right heel back, your left knee forward, so you're scissoring the legs together. And exhale, melt the heart down for one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, belly, ribs, forehead for two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift the chest. Bend into your front knee. You can either use the blocks or you can release them. Tuck the back. Inhale, lengthen both legs. Look forward. Melt the heart over the right leg. Exhale. Inhale, bend into your front knee. Lift your heart. Exhale, straighten and fold for two. Inhale, bend through the front knee. Lift the heart. Strong buoyancy through that left leg. Exhale, fold. Three. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lift the left leg high for warrior three. If you have any back issues, you can bring your hands to your heart or beside the body. One, keep wrapping your left thigh down, pulling up through your right leg. Two, shoulders away from the ears. Three, soften your right knee and bring your left knee to your chest. Interlock the fingers underneath your left leg. Exhale, flex, extend your left leg. Inhale, bend, bend foundation, lift Mula Bandha. And then exhale, flex, extend for two. Inhale, bend, squeeze, lift. 
Exhale, push through the heel for three. Hold here. Those who feel comfortable to do so, release your hands. One, two, three. Inhale, bring the knee to the chest, hands to heart. Exhale, step the foot back halfway down your mat, 45 degrees. Lift the arms up, breath in. Keep the hips square as you exhale, reverse the prayer. If reverse prayer is not available to you, you can just join the two fists together or catch the elbow creases. Inhale, pin the elbows back, lift the heart. Watch that you haven't shifted weight backwards or too far forwards. And exhale, fold forward through even hips. Engage to your big toes, subtle knee bend through your right knee. Try not to lock it out. Two. Let the heart burst through the arms. Three. Work the heel of the hand together if you're in reverse prayer. Four. Five. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, release the left hand down. Now you can either take the left hand on the inside of the leg or on the outside if you need to. There you can also use a block. And then inhale, lift your right arm up. Look to your right hand. Keep the chest open. Squeeze up through your inner thighs. One. Two. Ground through the balls of your feet and the heels of the feet. Part of under foot lock. Four. One more. Five. Inhale, look down. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, step your left foot forward, feet hip distance apart. Take the hands underneath the feet now and exhale, fold on in. Padahastasana. One. Keep creating space in your collarbone. Two. Three. Inhale, lengthen the chest. Exhale. Take a wide leg garland pose. And you can always use your blocks underneath your sit bones. Hands to heart space, spread through the elbows, the knees, lift your chest. One. And as the elbows push out, squeeze slightly back through the knees to synergize the muscles. Three. Inhale. Take the hands to the floor, take a half lift. Exhale, firm the hands and step back to plank. Scoop the lower belly in. Inhale, lower the knees to the floor, lift the heart. Exhale, take crouching child's pose. Walk the hands back in. Take a breath, lift the arms. Thunderbolt pose, exhale, hands to heart space. Breathe here. One, remind yourself that nothing lasts forever. Two, even this discomfort will end, I promise. <laughs> Three, so when we start to open up the plantar fascia on the arches of the feet, it really starts to help release the hamstrings and eventually up into the lower. Yeah. Inhale, lift the arms up, come high into the knees. Exhale, release the toes, fold forward for child's pose. Inhale, come forward for upward dog. Sink the pelvis, lift the thigh. Upward dog. Take three breaths in your dog. Keep your dog long, keep lifting out of your wrist line. Two, then wrap your thumbs and elbows towards each other. Three, watching that you're not collapsing the chest into the earth. Keep drawing up with the ribcage. Lightly step, walk or hop to the front. Half lift. 
Exhale, fold on in. Stand tall, inhale, rise up, look to your thumb. And exhale, fold straight back down into Uttanasana. Inhale, take the half lift. Exhale, step your right leg back now, knee to floor for low lunge. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Again, if you need your blocks, please use them. Exhale, folding forward, pulling the left toe back. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Lift the arms, low lunge. Strong through the back toe. And exhale, straighten and fold for two. Keep squeezing up through the inner thighs to lift the heart space forward. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the arm. And exhale for three. Hold here, inhale, lift your heart. Squeeze the left heel back, right heel forward, and exhale, melt down. One. Inhale, lift. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift, create a little more space, and then ripple the spine down over the leg for three. Inhale, lift the chest. Keep pulling the creases of the pelvis back. And exhale, bend into your front knee. Tuck the back toe under and inhale, lengthen both legs. Squeeze the legs together as you rise. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Then bend into the front knee, inhale. Pelvis sinks, heart pushes up and through. Shoulders down the back. Exhale, fold forward. One. Inhale, bend the knee, lift your chest. Straining that left leg. One more. Inhale, press the right heel away, let the heart come through. And exhale for three. Bend into the front knee, inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, float the right leg high for warrior three. Flex the back ankle, squeeze the inner thighs together. Any back issues, please bring your hands backwards or to your heart. One, hold here, lengthen through the skull. Two, start to pull energy back into your heels and down into your legs. Three, bend both knees as you hug the right knee to the chest. Interlock the fingers behind your right leg. And exhale, stretch your right leg forward. Inhale, bend into the right knee, hug it in. Exhale, straighten it forward for two. One more, inhale. Steady gaze, hold your dristi. Option to keep the hands here. Those who want to can lift the arms for one. Mula Bandha lifts now, pull up through the pelvic floor. Two. Three. Good job, inhale, bend the knee, bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, step your right leg back behind you halfway. Foot turns out 45 degrees, make sure that you're not crossing the legs up. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Start to reverse the prayer behind the back. Again, if you need to, give yourself a little fist bump or catch the elbow creases. Breath in, inhale, draw the elbows back. Subtle little back bend to lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Squeeze up through your inner thighs. Keep the pelvis neutral. One. If you find that you're collapsing the, right, uh, the left hip down and the right hip back, it's too much weight in your back leg and vice versa. Two, so even out the distribution between the front leg and the back leg. Three, watch you're not gripping into the toes. Keep spreading through the balls of the feet and the webs of the toes. Four, one more, little subtle knee bend. Don't lock out that knee. Five. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, slowly release your right on a block on the inside or outside or if you have complete range you can start to lower your little finger knuckle into 
the crease of your left little toe. When you're ready, inhale, lift that left arm up, open the chest and push down firm through your right hand. One. Rotate the eyes in the socket, so Pajvadrasti, side gaze. Two. Pull up the quadriceps and hold your gaze steady. Three. Try to keep the pelvis straight. Four. Move the heart forward that little bit more as the pelvis pulls back. Five. Exhale, release your hands, lift the chest, frame the foot. Inhale, step your right toe forward. Feet hip distance apart. And then exhale, bend the knees, wrap the hands around and see if you can find the front of your shins. For those who want a little more, you can start to lengthen the legs and start to slide the hands further towards the ankles. For those who this is still quite strong, just catch the arms or the wrists behind the legs. One, breathing here, really lengthen out through the chest, shoulders down the back. Two, try to push each other. Three, four, Coming back to that breath. Five. Release the hands, inhale. Those who want to can take Malasana as you did previously. But for those who are wanting to maybe develop this into an arm balance, you can start to ground the hands and prepare for Bakasana. Crane pose. Come high into the tippy toes, take a breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows, the knees meet the triceps, and exhale, shift weight into your fingertips by clawing into the earth and pushing the earth away. And then start to pull up through the toes and inhale. One, if you feel comfortable, start to straighten the arms. Two. Back into Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down duck. Take three breaths in your downward duck. One. Squeeze the thumbs in, push the heels away from each other. Two. Try not to aim at dropping your chest back, otherwise you're just going to hyperextend the shoulders. You want to keep wrapping the triceps under and pulling up through the underarms. Three. Inhale lightly, step, walk or float to the front, take a half lift. Exhale, fold on in Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up, head rides last, look to your thumb. Exhale, hands to heart space. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, lead with the heart. Bend the knees and inhale, scoop through. With Katasana, take a deep squat, then push through the heels, look to your thumb. And exhale, fold forward, find the earth, then press the legs out. Inhale, bend the knees, take a deep squat, lift the arms. With Katasana. Exhale, find the earth, so belly meets the thighs, then push the legs out. Energetically move the hands forward. One more, inhale, take a deep squat, sink through it, come up through Utkatasana as you inhale. And then exhale, find the earth, press the legs back, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step walk or hop back into Chaturanga. Try to pull your weight forward into the arms as you do. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, drop knees to the floor, lift your heart. Exhale, take it back to the crouching child's buttocks to heels. Walk the hands in once again. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart space or hands to the lap. It's your personal choice. Close down the eyes. 
Start to keep pulling energy up, so you're pulling the legs back towards you, squeeze the inner thighs and draw up through the central column of your spine. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, start to glide the chest forward. Plant the palms and lower the heart space. One. Two. Three, inhale, come forward to Sphinx Pose, release your toes. And then exhale, take the arms out in front of you. Bring the toes together and inhale, scoot the arms back for Shalabhasana, lift the toes, the fingers, hold for one, strengthen your spine. Two, Three, keep the back bend, plant the hands. Inhale, drive down through the toes, shoulders down the back, lift the heart for upward dog. Exhale into downward dog. Left foot turns in, right foot steps forward, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, lengthen through the left hip. Exhale, open, warrior two. If you need to, deepen your stance. Inhale, reverse the warrior, reach it back. Watch you're not collapsing down, weight through your left knee. Exhale, lengthen the right leg and reach back deeper, creating a lot of space through the right side body. Inhale, lift all the way up as you pull your right hip back. Have a triangle pose. Exhale, left arm to the sky. From here, you can either take the fingers around the big toe. If you need a block, the hand can come behind the leg but firm down through the arm rather than collapsing into the shoulder. Keep opening. One. Two, move the right shoulder away from the ear, lift the heart space through. Three, pull up through your quadriceps. Four. Five. Inhale, lift to standing. Exhale, toes turn sideways on the mat. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Press the hips forward. Exhale, fold forward, hands to earth. And then exhale, fold in. Try to walk your hands back in line with your heels and keep them in line with your shoulders. If the crown of the head can connect, start to push the crown of the head down and firm into the legs. Find the connection to Mula Bandha. One, shoulders away from the ears. Two, strong hands. Three, inhale, take a half lift. Good. Exhale, gently walk over to your right leg. Take a breath in, lift the heart. And fold over the right side. From here, you can take the right uh, hand and left hand back behind you. And if you want to, if you're feeling confident to do a little balance, you can start to push down through the left knee. if you prefer. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, into that right knee. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Right foot turns in, left leg steps forward. Warrior one, keep squeezing up through the inner thigh. Exhale, open warrior two, widen the stance if you need to. Reverse the warrior, inhale, reach the left arm back deep into the left knee bend. And exhale, press the left leg long and reach back further. Open the whole of the left side body to prepare for your triangle. Inhale, reach the left arm as far forward as you can as you pull the left hip back. Then exhale, release the hands. One, either catch the toe or use your block. Two, move the shoulders away from the jaw and stretch the collarbone wide. Three, pull the front ribs in so you lengthen through that lower back. Four, hold the gaze steady at the top hand. Five. Inhale, look down. Good. Exhale, slowly press to standing. Turn left toes in. Inhale. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Open the chest. Inhale. And exhale, lean forward, taking the hands overhead. Subtle knee bend, tuck the chin, and bring the arms over. One. Two. If you're quite flexible here, turn the thumbs down and push the palms away. Three. That would challenge the shoulders a little more. Four. Five, slowly press the standing, inhale. Exhale, hands to hips. Roll the chest open, inhale. Watch that when you look up, you don't collapse your neck back. The chest lifts and the collarbone opens. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, lift the chest. Exhale, walk over the left leg. Pivot both heels forward. Inhale, create a little more space as you suck the pelvis back, lift the heart space through the arms. And exhale, melt your heart over your left leg. Holding here, flip your hands behind you, use your blocks if you need. Or come into a little balance, pressing down through the hands and pulling up that right tippy toe. Just as an option. Two. But your option might also be here. Just nurturing wherever you are with the limitations in your body. Three. Breathe into the foundation, pull up through the legs. Four. Five. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, slow bend into the knee, tuck the pelvis under. Plant the hands, inhale, step back to plank. And exhale, chaturanga, shift weight forward. Wrap your triceps back. Inhale, upward dog. Squeeze the heel of the hand back and press the heart forward. Exhale, downward dog, scoop in through the chin and belly and over those toes. And from here, you can slowly jump yourself through for sitting down. If you're just practicing your jump through, take the weight forward into plank with one leg crossed. Hop the other left leg in and start to just do little bunny hops with the knees to help you start to create that neuro pathway. Then moving into Janu Susasana, we'll bring the left knee in and open it out to the side. Left foot meets the right inner thigh. Inhale to lift your spine. Exhale to fold forward. One, using a strap if you need, if you can't quite reach the foot. Over in the shoulders. Try to lift up through the chest. Three. Four, if you can reach the foot and bind, the right hand takes the left wrist. Five. 
half lift, inhale. Exhale, release. From here, you'll just bring the left knee into the chest and tuck the toe behind you. Right hand, spin to the left first, then exhale, left arm over. One, again, try not to collapse that shoulder down and sacrifice the pose. Two, use the back of the right arm to open the chest. Three, four, nearly sneeze. Five, inhale, slowly come up, place the left hand down and then reach the right arm up and take it back behind you as you exhale, opening the pelvis into a back bend. Inhale, come back down, stabilize the left shoulder on the way down and then exhale, close your gate, bringing the left knee forward. Coming into Triangle Mukha, Ekapada, Paschimottanasana. The left foot stays pointing straight back, breathe in to lift your heart and exhale, fold forward over that right leg. You can use props by stacking underneath the right hip if you're toppling out to the side, maybe a blanket or a towel, and strap around the foot. One. Two. Again, if you can reach the foot and bind the right hand, takes the left wrist. Three. Four, try to move the heart space through the arms, gazing to the big toe. Five, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. You may need a block for this one, coming into Konjasana now, so um, stalk pose. You can place the foot down and then just push up to slide the block underneath. If you don't need one and you're okay on that knee, then that's fine. But just don't sacrifice your knee here. Um, you can get a lot of damage if you're putting all that pressure through the knee joint if it's not ready. So inhale, start to lift that right leg high to the sky and draw the leg in, shortening the hold of the Slowly bend through the knee. Good. You can release the block here and exhale, lower your right knee out to the side. If you want to, you can take the right foot into half lotus if that is comfortably available to you. But don't put your knee under any strain or your ankle joints under any strain. Just keep the foot down if you prefer. Right hand back behind you, take an inhalation, left hand to the right knee, and then exhale, twisting. One. A lot of us have a tendency to bring that left hip forward, so try to roll it back into the earth and just rotate from the waistline. Three, two more breaths here. Four. Five. Looking to the left to stretch the neck, inhale. And then counter twist to the left, continue the gaze to the left, pass by the Inhale, come back to center. The left leg will extend and you'll have Janusa Sasana on the other side now. So right foot into left thigh, left toes back to nose. Inhale, exhale, fall. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, release. From here, we'll gently bring the right knee into the chest. Tuck the gate pose, Parigrasana. The left hand will come down on the inside of the leg, spin to the right side, and then exhale, right arm overhead. You can use the back of your arm to wedge into the inside of the leg to open the chest around. Two. If you have 
have the right towards the shoulder line, using the elbow against the earth to rotate the chair. Three, but I want you to keep pushing down through this right hip. Four, watch the chin hasn't collapsed into the chest. Keep opening the chin up and looking to the top hand. Five, inhale, come all the way up, plant the right hand behind you. Then sweep the left arm forward. If you're finding trouble getting into this pose, just shorten the stance and that should help you. Then slowly bring it all the way back down. And then exhale, close your gate. Right knee comes into Lord's left. Take a breath, lift the spine, ground through that right side. The toes are anchored. Exhale, fold forward over the left leg. One, use a strap or catch the wrist. Two, but wherever you are, try to plug the left heel back so that you can move your heart space through. Three. Watch sure you're not creating your own limitation by stopping yourself folding forward with the elbows. Four. Five. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, release. Coming into crunch asana again, if you need that block, you can slide it underneath. If not, you can keep the sit bones evenly grounded. Inhale, lengthen through the left leg. If you have range to bind, you can catch the right wrist. Remember to pull the Achilles or the heel down to shorten the Achilles. Two, you're really reaching long through the front of the ankle, pressing with the ball of the foot. Three, ground through the right toes, don't lose the foundation. Four, gazes at the big toe. Five. Inhale and slowly release that right foot, oh, sorry, left foot towards the right inner thigh. From here, take a breath in. Take the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind you, and exhale, twist. You have the option for Ardha Parvasana, coming into half lotus there. And you can also bind or even ground through the palm. One. Two, bring out the waistline. Try not to lift through the right hip. Sink through the right sit bone. Three, rotate the gaze and the eyes in the socket. Four, parjva drishti means side gaze. Five, looking forward over the right shoulder, stretch the neck and turn the gaze. And exhale, continue the twist and continue to gaze to the right. Back to centre as you inhale. And then exhale, bring the right foot around the front to prepare for your jump through. You can use your blocks if you want to. Lifting yourself all the way up and then trying to draw the feet back behind you. Making your way eventually back into your downward dog. From here, you can slowly drop the knees to the floor, lift the heart space. Exhale, take it back to child's pose. Inhale, slowly start to peel yourself up to high knees at the back of your mat and prepare for camel pose. Start to squeeze your inner thighs in, pull up through the front of the pelvis and then exhale, start to lean the heart space up to the sky. If you feel comfortable, you can either have the toes tucked to reach your heels a little bit easier or if you have full range, you can keep the heels down. Try not to jam your pelvis forward because the more you go forward, the more height you lose in the chest. So start to pull the pelvis back slightly and lift more into the heart space. And that way you won't collapse into the lower back. Two, keep the chin pressing up to the sky. Three, Strong arms, four, Mulabandha should be switched on from the moment you enter this pose, five, keep the head back, inhale, lift with the heart, head arrives last, exhale, take a seat, arms up, breathe in, fold forward, exhale, child's pose, Balasana. 
Up and over for upward dog. Inhale. Squeeze the thighs, lifting them up. Exhale, downward dog. And gently from here, you can inhale, lower the knees to the floor. Exhale, child's pose once again. This time, send the knees out wide and walk over to the right side. Take a breath in, melt the heart space over the right knee. One. Two. Anchor back through the left hip. Three. Walk over to the left hand side. Take a breath in. And exhale, melt the heart down over the left knee. One. Two. Three. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Melt your heart. From here, up and over for scorpion pose. So hips to floor, toes to head. Rock over the knees and keep activating your hamstrings back. Exhale. Bend the elbows and slowly roll your chest down into the earth. Keep your knees and toes drawing in. Catch hold of the ankles. Inhale, lift up. One. If you start to move your knees, you start to um, injure your lower back over time. Two, putting your back in jeopardy. Three, so keep the inner thigh switched on. Four. Five. Straight into upward dog again, roll the spine back, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Walk the hands back to your toes. Soften your knee line and just hang over the legs. Exhale here. Let your lower back release. Take a half lift, inhale. If you need a block here, please take one under your left hand. And then exhale, bend your left knee. Lift the right arm up. One, looking over to the top hand. Two, try to roll the shoulders back and lift the sternum through. Three, take a half lift, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, ground through the right palm, bend the right knee, and lift the left arm up. One. Again, try to push the chest forward, away from the hips. Two. Three. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, walk forward to downward dog. Keep drawing through your hips and stretching the arms forward. Knees to floor, inhale. Exhale, release your toes. Set yourself up for a headstand or at least a headstand preparation. If this is not available, you can always just take a forearm dog. Or you can just interlace your hands. Check the width of your shoulders, wrapping the fingers right around the arms. As you interlace your fingers, you'll support by really gripping down through the fingertips into the backs of the hands and knuckles. The thumbs point up like goalposts, and the hands are anchored into the floor with the palms away and open. So you've got this little cupping sensation to support the back of the head. The chin tucks right in so you can start to see through the inner thighs, and you'll really ground through the crown of the head so that the back of your neck is nice and straight. It may feel that this is straight, but when you come over, it won't be. So really tuck the chin in, and as you lift your hips, it'll feel a little easier. And maybe you're just hanging out here, 
Maybe that's plenty for you. If it's too much weight in the head, we're ideally really lifting out of the arms a lot so that there's not actually much weight in the head. The arms are taking the weight. If you feel comfortable to move into a headstand, if you have a headstand practice, you can. Those who are practicing, maybe practicing with one leg and coming onto a tippy toe, now that you've got some flexibility, try to float up, maybe into an L shape. And then maybe start to slide that left leg to meet the right or vice versa. Activate the inner thighs in and push through the shoulders, create some space. And don't forget to breathe. And the drishti is at the third eye. Slowly now either come down one leg or two. It's an exhale to release those toes. Take a child's pose. Separate through the knees, from the left arm underneath right. You can either keep the right arm overhead or tucked behind the back, it's your choice. Just really allow everything to start to soften down. Feel into the support and nourishment of the earth beneath you here. Release the left arm out and then slowly slide the right arm underneath. Option to take that left hand back behind you if you prefer, and deepening the twist. And once again, softening down and anchoring back into the pelvis. And let the heart space melt through the chest. Slowly release that right arm. And then inhale. You can come up to the hands and knees. And just cross the ankles or jump through if you prefer. And take the legs out in front of the body. Paschimottanasana, take a breath in. Watch that when you're flexing the heel, you cause pain through the knee over time, hyperextending. You want to push down through the heel plug back through the Achilles into the hamstring tendon so that we don't create little micro tears. So feel the connection between the heel of the foot and the attachment of the hamstring tendon. If you have a wall available, you can take your shavasana up the wall today. So just taking the hip against the wall, sweeping the legs up to the sky, and then slowly release the head down. If you don't have a wall, you can just take a chair and you can bend the knees so that the knees rest on the chair is also a great idea. And then just take one hand to your heart and one to your belly. Take a nice slow breath in through the nose. And a gentle exhale, drawing the navel to the backbone. And broaden through the back of the heart, breathing in now to the belly, the ribs, and the heart space. Exhale, heart, ribs, and belly. Ribs, heart, exhale, heart, heart, 
ribs, and the belly. Inhale, the belly swells, the ribs expand, the heart opens. Exhale, the heart softens, and the ribs draw in, and the belly falls towards the spine. Breathing in, and breathing out. With every exhalation, feeling the heart space melting through the chest. Feel the softening of the shoulders and the relaxing of all the muscles away from the structure of the bones. Take your awareness inward, finding a still point within the mind or the heart. the reliability of Mother Earth underneath you, knowing that she has always been there. Were conceived or before you took your first steps. And she will be there right up until you take your last breath. With every leap of faith, she will catch you on the other side. And when all of our other support structures fall away, she will be there, a constant, reliable source of support. When there is no one else to hold us, she will. When no one else is able to walk along with us, she'll be walking there every step of the way. And gently now you can begin to slowly bring the knees in towards the chest. And gently take the hands out wide and just draw a line like a semicircle, a half moon over to the left hands. Taking a passive twist. And then gently start to scoop in through the lower belly as you continue to draw that semicircle or half moon all the way back over to the right hand side. And then gently roll out to the right hand. Start pressing into the palm and coming all the way up to your seat. And sitting up tall. Once again, grounding into the asana, into the seat, and re establishing our connection with Mother Earth. We bring the hands of the heart space with love and gratitude. Namaste.